Hi Leo, this is your July 22nd through the 28th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with the fifth spread, which will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this is your first uh, birthday week, Leo. If you're celebrating your birthday this week, then happy birthday. Have an amazing uh, year ahead of you. All right, so this first spread is on new love this week. We have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have you, <laughs> the Sun, in the potential outcome. We have the King of Pentacles with the Chariot and the Hierophant. And uh, we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn. We also have uh, Cancer, maybe a Sagittarius, perhaps even another Leo. I usually go with Kings and Queens, Emperor and the Empress, if any of them show up. So yeah, you got this King of Pentacles, the first card in the potential outcome, as a matter of fact. So this King of Pentacles is, is in the potential outcome. <laughs> so it could be an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. If they're not an Earth sign, uh, it could be somebody who is like very grounded. It could be an entrepreneur, somebody who is wealthy, somebody who works for a financial institution. So be on the lookout of somebody like that. Um, we actually start with the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Page of Pentacles, which is immediately followed up by the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So let's talk about that Seven of Swords. To be honest with you, it's not a really positive card. It is a card of a deception. It is a card of a cheater. But in this case, it's probably one of the following few, I guess. The Seven of Swords could be somebody being in denial about how they feel about you. Right? So perhaps up until this point, if this is not somebody brand new, perhaps they've been lying to themselves about how they feel about you. For others of you, the Seven of Swords could be sneaking out of some kind of an event. Right? Or sneaking out. Or running away for the weekend. Or something like that. Running away and not letting anybody know what exactly is going on. Whom you're spending time together with. Right? So say you have plans for a particular day or particular weekend with other people and this person shows up. They're going to tell you, hey, let's do this together. And uh, you will tell your friends or whoever it is you have other pl original plans with that something came up. <laughs> and uh, in reality, you and this new person will be spending time together. All right. There could be some sort of a taboo situation, right? Perhaps this person dated somebody you know and uh, you may think, it would be inappropriate for you to see this person. So maybe with the Seven of Swords, you're, not, you're gonna keep it under wraps with, that, with the uh, Seven of Swords. Um, if you meet this person at some kind of an event, you guys could be sneaking out of the event before the event is over. And you're not gonna tell anybody that the two of you are leaving. You know, just, it could be something like that. One of those scenarios with that Seven of Swords. It's clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, you could be tickets to a show, tickets to go somewhere. All right, uh, take us to what have you. The Page of Pentacles could be something uh, tangible, something you can touch. They may literally give you something. All right, <laughs> um, take us to, to get on a plane, on a train, what have you. Right, but the thing about the Page of Pentacles, it's the most uh, serious page out of all four pages. So the Page of Pentacles usually talks about somebody's serious intentions from the very beginning. Right, uh, the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Uh, that Ace could belong to you, Leo. You're a fire sign. The Ace of Wands could be a fire sign indicator. But uh, the Ace of Wands is the most passionate Ace out of all for the Aces, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so the two of you could will definitely be very, very physically attractive to each other from the get-go. All right. However, right next to that Seven of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by that second Ace, the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, with the Wheel of Fortune, you guys could literally go somewhere. The, those two cards, the, the whole spread on the left could be talking about one particular day, one particular evening, one particular event, right? Where the, with the Wheel of Fortune, you're literally going somewhere together with this person. 
all right? But uh, the Wheel of Fortune is also a major arcana card, and the Wheel of Fortune usually talks about starting a new cycle, a very fortunate cycle, hence the word fortune in its name. The Ace of Cups, Claire Finite, is all about love, true, genuine, authentic love. So perhaps there's both passion and love from the get-go, from the very beginning. The Sun in the middle, that's you. Leo, that's your major arcana card, and at the same time, it's the happiest card in the deck. And we're back to that potential outcome, with that King of Pentacles sitting right next to the Chariot and the Hierophant. Um, the Chariot could be a Cancer uh, you're dealing with. The Chariot is a card of literally going somewhere, and uh, it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. So if there is like a taboo situation, you guys will eventually decide, you know what, screw everybody's opinion, we don't care. Well, love is what's most important for us, and you're gonna move forward and don't care about what other people think. The Chariot is also a card of maybe literally moving in together. Um, and uh, the Hierophant right next to the deck uh, is a Taurus card. This King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, right? In that case, they're in this reading twice. But at the same time, the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. So things are going to get really serious with those three cards in the potential outcome, right? The King of Pentacles is a court card, and the Chariot and the Hierophant are serious, major arcana cards, Leo. Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already married or in a relationship, Leo, uh, this spread is for you. We have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Hangman. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces. <clears throat> we also have Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, you know what it looks like, uh, Leo? It looks like a work, business, and finances spread. <laughs> I will still do the work, business, and finances spread separately as advertised in the introduction to this uh, reading. But to those of you who are either married or in a, or in a relationship, at least to one of you, work is going to be important. Work is going to be a priority, right? Uh, perhaps it's it's just one week, and it's one of those weeks where at least one of you or maybe both of you have to spend a lot of time working. Yeah, that's that's what this spread is. It's mostly m about money. Especially those three cards that actually came out before I started clarifying, right? The Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, these are all financial cards. Or can be interpreted as such, but especially together, right? And, uh, yeah, um, I think there's an opportunity to maybe make some extra money this week for some of you. Or you are, if you work, if one of you works and uh, you get commission, perhaps uh, something is happening this week that uh, you'll make a lot of money through commission. Um, I don't think... Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's what it, Eight of Pentacles is. A, it is actually a card of work, business, and finances. The, the hangman, uh, clarifying that, it could be interpreted as a card of a sacrifice, right? Sacrificing your time. Um, sacrificing your energy, sacrificing something else. Uh, at the same time, the hangman is a card of stagnation. Right? And, and in this case, one of you or both of you are stuck at work, burning the midnight oil. And um, one other way to interpret the hangman is a card of an epiphany, a light bulb moment. So perhaps you have an epiphany, you have a light bulb moment this week, where your person, your, your significant other does, and they're trying to make it work, they're trying to monetize it, or they're trying to come up with a strategy to monetize it, right? So if you do have an idea this week, chances are you can monetize it. Maybe you're thinking about starting your own business. If you already run your own business, you may have a new idea as to how to improve something. Right? The Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of somebody who is doing very well financially, and the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it is a card of a struggle, it is a card of a lot of work. So yeah, um, Leo, that's what I have for you here. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent X. It doesn't even have to be an X in this case. So we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Swords, clarified by Justice. We have Temperance, clarified by the Four of Wands. And we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with an Air Sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, we also have Sagittarius on the table. Uh, this looks like an attempt to either reconcile or to give it another shot. Maybe it just never got off the ground. Maybe life got in the way or something else happened. Uh, it does look like a, either a reconciliation <laughs> or a very serious second attempt. Right, so you're probably dealing with that King of Swords right there in the middle. Um, the King of Swords is classified by Justice. So the King of Swords could be any air sign. And uh, Justice is actually a Libra major arcana card, right? 
Um, Libra is an air sign, but uh, this King of Swords could be any air sign or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. Uh, justice could be setting the record straight, justice could be a card of a major apology, justice could be an actual place where people get married. All right. Uh, we start with the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of waiting. So somebody here is waiting. Okay, I don't know what the, let's assume it's this King of Swords waiting for this week and uh, for some of you they could be waiting for your birthday. Okay, they could be waiting for your birthday. And uh, if that's the case, perhaps that's when they're going to make a move. That's when they may apologize to you, right? But, um, yeah, we got a couple of aces on the table. The ace of wands, clarifying that seven of pentacles. That ace could belong to you, by the way. Leo, right? Your fire sign. The ace of wands could be a fire sign indicator. Uh, but uh, if uh, this ace is coming from the king of swords, yeah, they're, they're super excited <laughs> about this. Right, and uh, on the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is another Ace, and that one is a golden opportunity, a once in a lifetime opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles actually always comes from somebody who is ready for something serious. Right, and uh, speaking of serious, at the end, right next to the deck we have Temperance, clarified by the Four of Wands. Temperance is a card of patience. Temperance is a card of balance. Temperance is a card of getting back together, reconciling, rekindling. You know, bearing the hatchet, right? And uh, the four of wands clarifying it is actually a card of a commitment to marriage. Some people call the four of wands the 11-11 card. So, Leo, yeah, it's, it kind of looks like uh, either a reconciliation or a serious attempt uh, to give it another shot. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Leo, this week. Um, we have uh, the Five of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Star, the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups. And we have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, what I can tell you right away is that there's going to be an element of the past. Something about the past that's going to come up this week. Or you could let go of the past. <laughs> right? Because we have two cards on the table. That could be interpreted as cards that somehow are associated with the past. The Five of Cups, the first card I came out, is one of them, and the Six of Cups right next to the deck is the other one. The thing about the Five of Cups, it, it is a card of a grief and regret, and it's also a card of a disappointment. Okay, the Six of Swords clarifying it. Um, it could be a card of moving on, moving forward, leaving something behind. All right, so you could be hearing from somebody from your past, uh, and they could be saying things like, oh, we made a mistake when we let you go, right? So you, that could be one of the scenarios here. Or maybe um, you could be regretting not exploring something, not doing something in the past, and now this week you will have to uh, revisit something that you left behind in the past. All right, the star in the middle is a wish come true, and it's also a card of healing for some of you. And uh, then we have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances. And uh, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of working in the team environment. It's a card of collaboration and cooperation. All right, so yeah, I see you working with something or on something and with people but there's something about the past that's going to come up not in a not in a like really negative way you like i said you may regret not learning something in the past or you may regret not addressing something in the past or not paying closer attention to something in the past or you could be hearing from somebody from the past all right cool Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Moon. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. Then we have the Knight of Wands, clarified by Strength. <clears throat> and we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, yeah, <laughs> perhaps even a fellow Fire Sign. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I can interpret this a couple of different ways. Um, what you're not expecting could be uh, a person whose zodiac sign is Pisces showing up, like literally showing up. It could be a reunion, it could be you guys could go somewhere together, you know, because the hangman clarified by the moon, both of those two major iconic cards are Pisces, Pisces major iconic cards, right? And uh, the eight of ones clarified by the six of swords in the middle, both of those two cards could be cards of literally going somewhere, 
Okay, <laughs> so you see how these these cards are those clarifiers are duplicates of the cards they're clarifying, right? And uh, the Knight of Wands clarified by strength, that's you, that's your energy. So this is you getting all excited about this, uh, whatever it is you're doing with Pisces. The Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck could be a part of a reunion. Uh, it's also part of a celebration. Um, for some of you, the celebration could be your birthday. Okay, <laughs> perhaps Pisces sh is showing up for your birthday. All right, um, for others of you, um, another way to interpret it is it's the end of some kind of a stagnation. And uh, it's the end of stagnation, and uh, it's like a transformation from you, like being a little bit sad, uh, you being stuck in some kind of, you having some sort of a fear, you being like really emotional about something because you don't know what's going to happen or you don't know something, right? You're kind of worried about something, right? And uh, this week there's going to be a transformation from that energy towards the Knight of Wands by, uh, clarified by the strength, right? The Knight of Wands is uh, the Knight that's um, really excited about something, right? And yeah, the Knight of Wands is a card of getting on your horse and getting ready to conquer the world. Strength clarifying it is your major arcana card, Leo. Right? And perhaps you will have a reason to celebrate. Again, it could be your birthday. For others of you, it could be some, some other celebration with the Three of Cups. So that's what you're not expecting. Either Pisces showing up <laughs> or um, some sort of a stagnation and fearful... Uh, situation that's going to be resolved and you'll be back on your fiery horse with that Knight of Wands. Alright, so I hope this makes sense, but uh, that's what I have for you, Leo, for this uh, reading for this week. If you're celebrating your birthday, happy birthday one more time. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like, comment, and subscribe. And other than that, Leo, have a fantastic week.